My guy gave me 140 bucks to shave his head bald. He was thinning real bad on top, so we decided that shaving the head bald would be the best look for him. Gave him the baldy and beard. Here's the finished look. If you're in the Philly area and you're losing your hair and you're lacking some confidence, tap that link in my bio and I'm gonna give you that confidence you need today. He paid me 250 bucks and drove from San Diego to LA for a liner. Cause other barbers would push his edges back or leave it lopsided. Look at this hairline. Boy, this is terrible. So he made the two hour drive to see me. That's my dog. Cause he knows I'll get his lineup done right. And this is the final cut. Tell him where he came from for the cut, bro. Oh, <laughs> they not ready for you, player. No, 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 no. If you're in the LA area, click the link in my bio to book your appointment. To the right, consistent. We blend off the blade to the attack shot. God always shows up when you least suspect it. And the enemy thought he had you. But God said, I got you. I got you. So you don't have to worry, my child. You don't have to cry no more. You don't have to worry no more. You don't have to fear no more. I got you. Mm. Oh my God. Jesus. God said he got you. God know how much you want to be free. God know how much you want peace. Just believe. God got you. God got you. Victory's upon you. I need y'all receive this message. Big dog. Yeah, that's real.
This is our private client, Paris. Paris scaled his business to 15K months while being the rock for his wife and kids. Here's four lessons from his growth. One, he had to stop being the martyr figure. Paris thought that by running a shop, being a teacher at a barber school, offering private cutting classes and doing every community event would make him successful. He was left being overworked and underpaid. In business, you are rewarded for putting yourself first so you can help others later, not by putting others first. Comment Marta and I'll send you the process Paris went through to go from being underpaid to 15K months cutting hair. Two, he had to lead his family. Paris was so worried about keeping peace in the household that he almost didn't come on board as a private client. Paris had to take charge of the conversation, step up as the leader and do what he knew was best in the long run. The best part is, his wife is forever grateful, even if she was hesitant at first. 3. Remove ego. For months, Parry didn't do the work, complained about not seeing a result, and was just flat out in a victim mindset. In reality, he just had a shit ton of ego in the way that wouldn't allow him to get the help he needed. Once he dropped that, he started doing the work, started seeing results, and his business grew at a rapid pace. Gotta make you wonder what all that damn pride and ego is truly holding you back from in life. stupid blurry taper man i'm prepping line up for this naturalnessness because who wants a narrow neck like this or this this one either i do my curve first and i have a clear guide to keep the rest of the neckline natural as possible then i'm gonna hit the remaining hairs with fatality a all natural crispy neckline man i know you tired of this so click at the link at the bio it's your boy j master fade
My boy came in looking real dusted, so he needed me to save his life. I went with a high taper to clean off the sides and the back, but still preserve the curls up top. If you need a fresh fade like this, go ahead and hit the link in my bio to book an appointment. Peace. I'm open to change, I trust you, so. Here's my dog. I would probably go with like a mid high on you because you have all this darkness and then you have this. It, it's important for you to fade the dark hair into the light hair, right? right? So I also do see that it grows upwards. So would you rather have more of a weight going down or do you want this to flow with the rest of the hair? I definitely like it to flow in there for you. With, are you comfortable with going a little tighter? Cool with that, yeah. I, I trust what you're doing based on right. what you put out, so. Yeah. Wait a minute, y'all thought I was finished?